understanding cholesterol and your health. Hey, this is Dr. Randall. I'm a health and healing advocate and author. I'm a trained researcher and educator. And my goal with these Friday videos is to go in depth in one particular topic that can help you understand your health better. And today that focuses on cholesterol. I also do Tuesday videos where I look at one thing you can do to change your health for that week. They're much shorter, so if you don't like long videos, watch me on Tuesdays. Anyway, let's talk about cholesterol. This myth or misunderstanding has been resolved for more than 10 years now, and yet just in the past four weeks, I have seen five nutritionists still telling people to avoid cholesterol, avoid animal-based products, and it's just silly, it's just wrong. It all started in the 1960s with a researcher named Ansel Keys, who was investigating why President Eisenhower had a heart attack. And he determined whether, whether the sugar industry was involved or not, I don't know, but he determined faultily that fats, saturated fats in particular, were the root cause of heart disease. And somewhere along the long, those lines, we were told that cholesterol and saturated fats were bad and to be avoided, and especially butter, eggs, and animal-based products. It seemed like it was an attack on the omnivores among us, of which I count myself. And so it's like, why would it be cholesterol? Why would it be saturated fat? And the sad part is our bodies need healthy fats. In fact, in my food pyramid, healthy fats are the number one thing we need, bodies and brains, guts. We need that healthy fat. And yet, fat has been demonized, especially good saturated fats. And this switch in diet has resulted in, still today, both by advice and in the food industry, buy lean, buy low fat, buy no fat. And the problem with these is they've replaced the healthy fats with sugar, and chemicals to recreate that texture and feel that fat gives to food items. And really, I have to tell you, dietary cholesterol has, for the most highest percentage of the population, has little effect on blood cholesterol. So even that myth of connecting dietary cholesterol to blood cholesterol is completely wrong for the vast majority of people. And by the way, cholesterol is essential. Every cell in our body uses cholesterol. We need cholesterol. And furthermore, we look at it wrong. You know, we separated out HDL, the good cholesterol, and LDL, the bad cholesterol. And in fact, that's not really even true. There's a subset of LDL, very small LDL, that is dangerous. Not because it's cholesterol, but because those particles get caught in inflamed arteries. And that's what begins cardiovascular disease. So it's not the cholesterol per se, it's the inflamed arteries. Where does chronic inflammation come from? Insulin resistance, which typically comes from a long period of time of eating a lot of sugar and a lot of simple carbs. And guess what? That's the backbone of the standard American diet. You change that and you'll have much better metabolic health. Now, if you wanna think about cholesterol, the missing piece is triglycerides. 
And so if we look at metabolic health, one of the indicators we look at is triglycerides, the ratio of triglycerides to HDL, the good cholesterol. We're ignoring LDL partly because the tests just aren't accurate enough. And so if you're looking at triglycerides, which are extremely affected by sugar and simple carbs, you want to bring that triglycerides number down as far as you can. And in that process, you'll actually raise your good cholesterol. So you want your HDL, the good cholesterol to be high, 50 mg over DL or better. And you want your triglycerides low, typically under 100 mg over DL. The optimal range of that ratio is 0.5 to 1.9. And in full disclosure, I will tell you that my triglycerides, the last blood test, were 57. My HDL was 76. And so my ratio is 0.9, which is quite good in terms of metabolic health. So if you want to improve your overall health, regardless of the cholesterol part, but focusing on the triglycerides, focus on a fat and protein diet. I'm not saying eliminate carbs. I'm certainly not saying eliminate fiber, but the simple carbs and the sugary lifestyle where we have dessert for every meal is literally killing us, setting you up for a heart attack. All right, I've gone too long. This is Dr. Randall wishing you a great weekend. See you next week.